I want to talk about the things that I love about social media. Nah, nah, hold up. Actually, it's, it's really, it's really just one thing. It's a lot of things put together, but it's all fits the category of one specific reason. It's the escape of reality. It's the escape of reality. That's really the one reason right there. For example, because nothing's really that interesting in real life. I love how on the internet, somebody who knows you in real life who you, I guess, backstabbed or whatever, can become an agent years later. All of a sudden, you realize they were an agent. But this agent is not trying to poison you, trying to come into your house, knows you in real life, knows where you live, but is not trying to poison you, trying to kill you. They're not going any further than trying to talk to you on, on the Internet. The place that you care about so much. In reality, yeah, that that wouldn't make any sense. But somehow on YouTube, that makes perfect sense. Another thing I love about the escape of reality is the fact that in reality, if you make 20 videos a day on somebody... That kind of means that you're obsessed with them. But if you make, but on YouTube, if you make 20 videos on somebody, on the same person, and you're not getting a response until like the 25th fucking video, that person is obsessed with you. They've been stalking you for four years. They're in another FBI agent and they're eating poop. They're working for Satan and all this weird, crazy shit that's made up. They're fucking their own food. All this weird stuff. That's after responding to this person after they made 25 videos a day on them. And now, now that this person finally makes a response, they're obsessed with you and they're eating poop and shit. They're an F, they're a FBI agent eating poop. Watching your every move. Hmm. Let's let's talk about some more escapes from reality. Let's talk about the black sector, which I, quote unquote, got kicked out of. I love the fantasy of a bum being important, a bum being relevant. How... Only on YouTube where a 44-year-old bum living in his mother's basement can have a whole sector dedicated to him. How all these other people in that sector are so rich and so famous and so well off, but they have nothing else to talk about on the internet other than this 44-year-old bum living in his mother's basement. You mean to tell me that these people's lives are so great, but yet they have nothing else to do but to sit around talking about this one guy? They're they're all destroying him, and he can't handle it, and blah, blah, blah. But yet, he's not fucking with your kids and putting your photos all over YouTube and trying to dox you. No. No. They're all doing that to him and making up lies and, and, and pretty much going to Facebook to dig into his kids' lives and shit. Yeah. That's, see, that's how much attention a bum gets on social media. Because in real life, nobody cares about a bum. So... You know, 
I just find that interesting. Like, I love it. This is even in video games. Like, I, I love the escape from reality. It's, I think that's what it is. It's the escape from reality that I love. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. I, I don't know. I'm not saying that my reality is that bad. I'm just saying that, yo. It's, this is so far from reality that I can't help but to be a little bit fascinated. I, I really can't. Miss Elite, you too. You're escape. You're an escape from reality. You too. I'm, I'm not going to throw you out of this because we know I'm so called caping for you. Well, I'm not really, but I just don't have the time and the energy to worrying about what you're doing. So. I don't even care about the people you you talk about, but yeah. But once again, an escape from reality. That's all this is. It's quite entertaining, man. I, I, I gotta, I gotta admit, it's entertaining. 